From Poly Prep, we welcome you into the Terrier Sports Network's coverage of St. Francis Brooklyn Soccer. As tonight, the Terriers welcome in the Manhattan Jaspers as they continue their non-conference play. My name is Joe Vasile alongside Federico Cabello. Runs up, fires it in, and it goes wide left of the near post. And early shot for Manhattan. Jaspers catch a break and send a long ball up ahead, trying to break out, and they find a man, Joseph Bonnie, and a big save made by Casado. Still in play, though, for Manhattan. Right outside the box, chipped up ahead, long-range drive, goes well wired left. Stack breaks, it's swung in. Ball played high into the air, Gallardo's there. He's... Trying to juggle for it, Kieran Young headed, redirected, and a goal for the Terriers, but they were offside. Asumin. Great ball there. Yusufi tripped up in the box. He goes down, and the whistle blows a foul against Manhattan with 7.27 left to go. Terriers trying to take the lead. And he scores. He went lower left corner, and Johan Asumin puts St. Francis up one to nothing off the penalty kick. Kieran Young trips to send Goye way out of net. Molina's got it. He tries to throw it over his head, and he finds the back of the net. Oh, call the offside there. So a fantastic play by Molina. But did not count by way of Peekskill High School in New York State. Sent it in. Terriers got there first. Abdella gets there. Played up ahead. Yusufi. He was onside. Here he comes inside the box in front. And what a play by Goye to keep it out. And on the second chance, the Terriers score. And for Eduardo Belfonte, his first career goal gives the St. Francis Brooklyn Terriers a 2-0 lead midway through the second half. And again, they're just unnecessary giveaway. Numbers for the Terriers, a three on three. Into the box, ground ball shot, Yusufi scores! And there's the three nothing lead for St. Francis. In fact, it goes out against Matteo Carabati for St. Francis. Must have said something. Another shot for Manhattan, blocked down. And the whistle. Looks like a penalty there. Mm -hmm. Penalty on the shot. There was a lot of bodies, a lot of traffic down in that area. On this end of the field, now Manhattan a chance to get on the board, not only in this game, but in this season. Scored a goal against St. Francis in the game last year. And the one to take it. Fourier shoots and a save made by Casado. Well done by Nico there. So, such an athletic guy. I mean, just known for that. And, and, and I know Coach Giovanni, that would make him happier than any goal they scored tonight. I can tell you that for a fact. <laughs> Diallo trying to get in the way. Shot comes in. Looked like it fooled Casado. And Manhattan gets the goal and gets on the board here in the game with inside three minutes to go. And that'll do it. St. Francis hangs on and scores a 3-1 victory over the Manhattan Jaspers here on Saturday night. And with the win, St. Francis, a 4-1-1 record to start the season in what was a little tenuous at times in the first half, but able to tack on in the second, pull away, and score this two-goal victory.